What's cracking with you people? This is the Devious Wolf and welcome back to another episode of Sonic Adventure. In the last one, we fought a gigantic talking egg. Oh, wait, my bad. Dr. Ivo Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. And we promptly lost the Chaos Emerald. Because for whatever reason, Tails decided not to keep it in his dimensional pocket. Uh, what are you gonna do? The guy's like, what, eight? Yeah, I mean, he has the IQ of a genius, but he's only eight years old. In this episode, we aim to add to our emerald count by getting one more in Station Square. You know what that means? More talking to NPCs! Hooray! Yeah, what are you gonna do? Now you may have noticed by now that Sonic Adventure changes time from day to night sporadically. This does not mean that Sonic Adventure I see you, Emblem. I see you. Not today, but one day. One day. But yeah, this does not mean that Sonic Adventure has a day-night cycle. As a matter of fact, it has a very generic, the time of day changes as the plot advances kind of system going. So, don't expect any, uh, while you stand out in the middle of the field for like, in, like two hours it changes from time of day like, like The Legend of Zelda. No, that's not the case. It just kind of changes when the plot demands it. Now, we have, a, we, have a, we have a mother and a kid here, so I hope it, I think it's a mother and a kid. Unless it, if not, this is going to be really awkward really fast. Hello there, good, good lady. Oh, I don't think it's going to be nice. Mm, sure, that's where you go. Mm, okay. Not bad. Mm, let's do the rest of the world. And let's go to Angel Island. Well, one or two things happened. Either A, Angel Island is on a rest break and just stopping like a queen bee in a colony does when they fly from one place to another. Or B, someone forgot to pay the power bill. That's the only thing I can really tell you at this point in the game. But yeah, uh, I mean, I'm just going to talk to NPCs right now and just kind of see what's going on with them. Because the thing about and be, mm, hate sunsets. I can think of a character from a very, very, very specific kid show that would not like that comment. As a matter of fact, I can think of two since their names are pretty much the exact same, just written differently. At any rate, um, Sonic uh, Adventure NPCs. While they do look low poly, because you have to keep in mind this this is a this is Sonic Sonic Teams. First successful attempt. Oh, let me let from the uh, from the train station. How do you like the town? Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, the NPCs don't really look that good. I'm not gonna lie. And there have been games to come out around the same time that have had better looking NPCs. Um. Okay, come on now. Um. Like. For instance, I want to say Jack and Daxter was out at this time, and they had very detailed NPCs. But then again, they had the advantage of being on a PlayStation 2. Well, it's a copy I bought was on PlayStation 2. I want to say, might have, no, wait, yeah, I think it was on PlayStation 2. I don't think it ever came out on the first PlayStation. Maybe it's a little girl. Hmm, yeah. But the interesting thing about the NPCs is that even though they're not very detailed, and granted it is like 1999 quality uh, polygons for Sega, they have some very, very, very interesting dialogues. Like, yeah, we have to know it all, but we have very interesting characters that actually do have an interesting subplot kind of going on every once in a while. So, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, even if you just want, like, you want, like small flavor text, then it actually does pay to sit down and talk to these people every once in a while. Um, 
And it'll kind of give you a little bit of a breather from the stages. Then again, the stages aren't really that intensive, so I don't really see why you would need one. Um, hmm. Well, maybe I have one. But, yeah, it's one of those things, you know? Like, if you want to talk to him, you can. There's nothing forcing you to do it. You don't get any items for doing so. Most of it's just tips. Most of, like, for this one, it's, it's pretty much a tip to tell you uh, that there's a manhole cover open. And it gives us some type of tips and whatnot. Man, there's nothing forcing you to do it if you don't want to. But it's there. What it is, what is there if you do? And I coincidentally do. Uh, sir, 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 you, sir, you're, you're, sir, uh, sir, are you aware that you are, that you are immaterial? Um, 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 sir, sir, uh, okay, stop you then. Uh, excuse me, sir, excuse me, sir, I, I stop you. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, about that, um, sir, you do not physically exist. Like, look at that. You, you just got run by a car and you seem to be spazzing out. Um, sir, 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 I'm going to need you to stop doing that. Yeah, I'm going to need you to stop doing that, like, right now. Sir, you're still doing it. You're still doing it. You're still, you're still doing it. This is, this is the city's mayor. Yep, I'm done. I'm done with you. You are, no! Mm. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I did a dumb. I did a very big dumb. I was so distracted by this nut job here that I, uh, went into the manhole cover. Now, going to the manhole cover pretty much advances the plot, but I don't want to do that right now. I, I'm really, I really do just want to show off some of the stuff here. I like this lady here. Uh, remember earlier, we heard, we had a guy talking about who's just been standing there staring at the burger shop for a long time. I think this is her. Oh, your heart's breaking. What's that? Mm. Mm. Wait. The burger shop guy? No, you just have me sitting here like, go on, girl, get your man, but the burger shop guy? I think you're aiming a little bit low there, lady. It ain't far better for me to ju judge your lifestyle. And look at what you should say. Hmm. What for you? Hmm. I hear I go on trips sometimes. Hmm. Interesting. We'll have to look into that one later in the game. Hey, burger shop guy, I got something to tell you. Hmm. You feel somebody? Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's this Sonic emblem over here in the corner. No. Yeah, that'd be silly. But yeah, this is one of the reasons. This is one of the things that, that um, reasons why I think it's at, I think it's at least good to at least talk to some of the uh, NPCs. You guys, you get some flavor type dialogue like like this like this unrequited love romance, uh, romance stuff like. And I think it'd be I think it's cool. They kind of I think it's cool they put that in there. So you got something to follow. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, if you, if you, like if you want like something to follow like, between uh, stories, you can follow you can uh, follow that stuff a lot or stuff about the woman who's exploring the town, exploring Station Square from in uh, from out of town. Wait, we can go to the sewers! Hooray! Now, Sonic, I hope you don't mind the stench, but boo! Now I put here. Now, if you look closely, you see that you see that uh, on Sonic's model, like right there below his nose, you see like his breathing animation, like it looks like bubbles. You can drown in the hub world. Like you sit there long enough with him crouching the water like that, he will eventually drown in chest high water. But in the meantime, Legend of Zelda: Air Jordan Edition. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. 
Air Jordans. They make you laugh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is one of the things that kind of makes people, that kind of made me at least when I first started think. This is Legend of Zelda. We got the floating fairy, and we find items in the hub world. Though, admittedly, it is a little game. <laughs> admittedly, it is a little bit different. After all, like with, with most Legend of Zelda games, you find your items in the dungeon and use it for the dungeon. With Sonic Adventure, you find your items in the hub world. I don't think you find a single upgrade within the level itself, which is quite interesting. Hello, sir. What did you say about that? Let me do shoes, sir. I will use whatever back back door I dang well please it. Please, I use them. That works. Yeah, that that's something. Right. Anyway, oh, you moved. How are you feeling, girl? Oh, it's the new record. Hmm. Well, you know what? I was doubting you at first. Go on, get your man, girl. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Hmm. I wonder why that could be. Must be the statue standing outside. Hey, did you know that I've got a crush on a burger shop guy? Yeah, I know, right? Weird. I mean, come on. The burger shop guy being. I think the only thing weirder would be to, I don't know, try to date, try to kiss a blue hedgehog. But that would never happen, right? Hey, little girl. Let me choose. And she just says the same thing. Okay. We're gonna move now. Keep on moving, 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 moving. Hello, sir. Let me choose. Hmm. They don't. Let's hit the casino. Yeah. Good idea. Mother, go ahead and hit the casino. Why not? We got time to kill. Hello, Dead Lady. How you doing? Mm. You're pretty mature for your age. Well, she's bugging you this time. Yeah, I might have went on. Hey, good sir. Do you know what this girl? Hmm. Little girl, why aren't you going home? Oh, I'm gonna just break your heart. Hey there, sir. This thing has a new pinball machine. Wait, a pinball machine in a casino? Really? Oh, hey, look! It's the girls from the pool! Why are you guys always in close proximity? Oh, I said a casino. Casino's always fun. Oh, I can see him in the hotel lobby. Let's well, to check that out at some point. Maybe during another episode. But before we do that, before we hit the casino, we have one more thing to do. We got new shoes, but we need some bling. And when I say bling, I mean a bling, a bling, bling, bling. No, bling is sparkle, sparkle. Like, for instance, this thing. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Yeah, that's really interesting, you know? Like, I mean, I like the design. I wish there was a matching one on the other one so my OCD wouldn't go off like a, like a mouth for symmetry's sake. But, in Sonic Adventure, the light speed dash actually charges very slowly. Now, they get better about this as, a, as um, the series goes on. Like, the next game, they had the light speed dash actually fixes it tremendously. You just hit a button and it goes. However, in Sonic Adventure, it's, the light speed dash's initial introduction, as you saw earlier with the glowing blue, was really, really slow. But, this one effectively cuts that charge time in half, if not by three-thirds, by three-fourths. And it makes it significantly easier to do. I was like, why not just do it, do it in the first place? 
I mean, the upgrade helps and all, but why not just do the original in the first place, you know? But hey, that's, uh, that's hindsight for you. Oh, hey, the new stand girl. Yep, now it's you as me. At any rate, let's head down here, shall we? Let me go down here. Pretty wide open space. Oh, hey, look, it's you. Where's your mom at? Kid, I'm sorry to tell you this, but either your mom's spending your entire college fund, or she's working very hard to earn it. Either way, <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's uh, it's the, it's the tourist girl. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it says casino on the on the front, woman. Hmm. Just gonna go and press it. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I don't think you got the mad hops for that. I mean, look at that button. Look at that button. It's way up there. It's way up there. Yeah, you don't have the hops for that. However, with me and my new Jordans, I most certainly do. My new Jordans and my new K Jewelers, I most certainly do have the, have the hops for it. Now, welcome to Casinopolis. In this stage, we are going to be collecting another Chaos Emerald. And the reason, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to need to collect some rings. Like so. That's enough to demonstrate what I need to do. And, hmm, Sonic, your face seems to be on the entire casino. You know, it just... We can get your name up there. So either you own this casino and not telling anybody, or they worship you. Either way, can't you ask somebody to come down here, get a ladder, walk the walk up to that thing, and get the chaos emerald? Yeah, we have to wait for this thing to come down and play the crane game with us, and do shaking baby syndrome, and ring the ring out of us in order to get there. And we need to get a grand total of 400 rings, not 399. Because 400 is what unlocks the freaking, uh, invisible wall that stops you from getting the ring. Yeah, Tails can't fly up there, can't fly us up there, we can't jump up there when we have enough to clearly jump up there, we need 400 rings to unlock the invisible wall. How we do that, you say? By playing the most age-old and time-tested game in the casino. PINBALL! Yeah. Pinball. Pinball, 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 But yeah, um... No, this pinball station is a little bit interesting because it has a slot machine in it, but still. We're playing pinball. Oh, T-Kickback. And we get the T-Kickback. We get rings like that. Um, oh, it blocks us from being knocked down. You know, it doesn't save our butts from falling into the, into the ocean. Now, if you notice, on the, uh, on the roulette thing right here, you actually notice that the artwork is very cartoony, like very, very cartoony. Well, it's quite simple. The, uh, the artwork that's based off of the Sonic designs at the time, which I want to say was Sonic CD. Um, the sign to CD is where Amy Rose introduced and that's Amy Rose right there. Looks drastically different than she does in CD, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, that's the, uh, that's the general gist of it. You can look it up. They had a, uh, movie, which I believe was originally a two-part episode, or released in Japan, but is a movie now. Uh, they made, they made one but one movie that they never really took off. I forget what the original title was. I don't know if it's called like the Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog movie. So I know Sonic X never had a movie, so I'm so I don't think I can get mixed up with that. But um Yeah, that's what the artwork based off of Robot right there, Knuckles, Sonic, Tails. That's really interesting this interesting to have them put that much of a callback inside this game. It'll also be the last time you'll actually see those designs you use in a Sonic game. And like, like in terms of artwork and like. But now to the real part. 
This is where we make our main in the, in the casino. Down in the sewers. Yeah. We're gonna make our money going through the, through the sewers. You know what they say? Gambling's a dirty business. I didn't think they meant it quite that literally, though. Oh well. What are you gonna do? And anyway, this is how we're gonna be making most of our money. You have to make a whole lot of money down here in the, in the sewers of the casino. It, I know, it's ridiculous. You have to make most of your money in the in the sewers of the casino, not the casino itself. This is not really a good thing. Some people has gone into the sewers, got a new pair of shoes, but he probably reeks right now. That must not be good for business. Um, he too, he just, I don't think that's good for business at all. But we're going to go to the sewers to make more money. So Sonic's going to need a major shower that time we get done with all this. But yeah, but look at this. I'm in the sewer. I've been in the sewer for like a little over a couple of seconds here, and I've already made about 300 rings. You know, I'm now. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, finish off the level because like once we get out of here. We have 400 rings. Like doing, like going the route that I took to get the, to get out of here. We'll have all 400 rings. But there's one more thing I want to show off before we do that. And I think it'll be, I think it'll be worth our time. You know, it's a nice little callback for anybody who knows about this particular thing. And I'm also might be a little bit sad considering that uh, they haven't done anything with this thing in a while. But I think we do. Oh yeah. I like shakes off the dirt from uh from the uh <laughs> from the uh instance. Also tells this gets hit with uh is not invincible. You can have to be hurt by the shield. I wanna show this up a little bit. While in the showers, Sonic has a wash cycle. <laughs> they actually animated a oh, shower cycle. Now he's getting that much needed bath from all the mucking about in the sewer. The Lord knows. He found a if found more nuggets than just rings down there. But if you look at the Sonic's model, you also see a little water drops dripping off of his uh, model. Now the water drops aren't really that in, aren't really that cool looking. They just look like little pixels kind of bouncing. But it's still interesting to note that they put that on a detail into a game in 1999 and for 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 a series that has a hit that has a reputation of not translating well into into 3D. Which don't see why that reputation is there in freaking anchor. Why is there an anchor here? Seriously, who puts an anchor in the middle of a casino? But yeah, I think Sonic has translated very well into 3D ever since Sonic Adventure. He's definitely had his pitfalls, but they have not been nearly that bad. At any rate, time for the last thing I want to show up before we get out of it Nights into Dreams. Knights is a game series I am not familiar with. I never played a Knights game. Probably never going to. Wouldn't mind playing it. Just don't know if I'm going to have the chance. But yeah, Knights in the Dreams is another game series developed by Sonic Team. And I mean specifically Sonic Team at the time. Um. And this this board has a bit of a secret. Uh, I'm going to show it off hopefully in a little bit. And the last time it was okay. Now if you look in the back and you see that little a little uh, wall fell down. I'm just losing on purpose. I got to put it there automatically. And now we're going to do this right here. But yeah, it's a it's a fairly interesting series. I think done by Itagaki. The one of the creators of Sonic. The Sonic had three people involved in his character design and creation. Um, but Itagaki is the not Itagaki. Why does it Itagaki? It, Izuka. Izuka. Why did I say Itagaki? He's not even in the remotely same development genre. Yeah, Izuka. Is uh, Izuka? I'm gonna say Takeshi Izuka. I want to say that's his, I say that's his, that's his whole name. I do know Izuka's his last name, but um, he developed knights. I'm not going to worry about this right now because well, we'll say we're going back through. 
Um, yeah, Night to Steve, little purple guy in the center there that we passed a little while ago. The f interesting thing about Knights is that Knights originally is meant to be androgynous. You're not supposed to know if Knights is a guy or a girl. They changed that for the sequel that was released on the Wii called Knights Journey in the Dream, let me say. Which if many which if I recall correctly is just a retelling of the original game with like voice acting and whatnot. But um yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my knowledge of the of the of the series itself. I wouldn't mind playing it. I know he's made a, an appearance in the recent Sonic Colors. Sonic, what the heck are you doing? But yeah, at least in Sonic Colors game he made an appearance. And it was a DLC thing. Like as DLC made an appearance and they had like a whole night stage based around him. Now knights here, this is nice and simple there. You see there's a crystal orb right there. You have to collect six crystal orb and he does something. I've never done it. I might do it for a bonus video. But as of right now I have no idea how to do it. I just know you have to collect crystal orbs and that's about it. But now we're pretty much done. Um, with the Sonic pinball table, it drops into the sewers. With the Knight's pinball table, it drops you right in front of the ring count of the ring shaker. So now we can go ahead and get our uh, and get, and get our prize. The also another thing to note is that when you once you find Tails inside the game, inside the story, like he unlocks a playable character, he follows you inside of the levels, and his and he can collect rings for you. But unlike the classic Sonic games, you can't play as him. And multiplayer, you don't have to multiplayer if you play a second controller. You can't play as him. And unlike in and like in um, the special stages of Sonic, of the old Sonic games, he won't lose rings if he gets hit because of, during AI control. So not to worry about losing rings if he, if he gets hit. And now we have our second Chaos Emerald. Hooray! We're one up on Eggman. Let's continue on. Yeah, not bad. What happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic! We need to get busy! Slightly dirty. Now look at, look at that. That is Cream the Rabbit. Making her debut in Sonic Advance for the Game Boy. Once the DX port released, they put her in various cameos, which I'll be showing off as the game goes on. But, that's it for today. I know, I know, we did a lot of running around, a lot of talking, all we did was find a pair of shoes, some there's a pair of Jordans, some bling, and we get to play one level after I spent like half an hour talking to NPCs. In the next, in the next one, we're going to spend a little less time talking to NPCs and much more time uh, in the actual levels proper, so... There you go, there you go. Um uh, that I do just want to try to show off as much as I can inside this game. In the meantime Better get going. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next one.